There's a driver who's paying attention. Good evening everybody, Cam Biker here and it's time for another video editing basics for vloggers video. And this is the one that a lot of people have been asking for. How to pixelate or blare out number plates, faces, whatever it is you want to obscure from a video. So this is quite a simple thing to do but it does take a little bit of uh, fiddling about. You have to use two or three different things. So I've got two videos to demonstrate it on. I'll just show you these two little clips first. The first one, I'm going to blare out uh, the number 46 on the back of a taxi. So let's just look at this first clip first. It's Valentino Rossi's taxi. So you see we've got the number 46 there, and I'm going to blare that out. And the second clip is similar. I'm going to blare out this time the number plate on the van to the left. The difference with this clip is that the van is going to be moving across the picture so the blaring has got to move with it. So I'll just show you that. So is this van going to pull out because he thinks it's a bus lane? Yes, of course he is. I'm moving across the frame with my head moving as well. Oh, just read the signs. It's going to be quite a tricky one to uh, track that number plate and get the blaring just right. But we'll start with the easy one. Now the trick here is all about how you set up your layers. Uh, we actually need two copies of these videos. So we've got our one copy at the minute. I'm going to copy the video tracks. We don't need two copies of the audio, just of the video. So I'm going to duplicate that track to start with. Let's duplicate that. So we've got our video and we've got the copy of the video. And just to act as a reminder, I'm going to call the one that's behind the main video. And the track in front is going to be the pixelated video. So let's show you what we're going to do. We'll start with the simple one, the one that doesn't move. And what we need to do is apply two effects. The first effect is going to be um, like a, a cutout section. So let me show you what that means. So to apply effects, same button we've used in the past for event effects. So we click on the event effects and we need to pick the cookie cutter, Sony cookie cutter, which is in the middle there. And this one cuts a piece out of a video, it cuts a shape, uh, it can be a circle, square, various other different shapes. So we're going to start with that effect, so let's just add that one. So I'm going to click on add, and you see it appears at the top here, and OK. And now we've got the cookie cutter, and you can't really see what it's done. And the reason you can't see what it's done is that it's actually cut a piece out of the video, but the video behind it is showing through. Just to prove that, I'm going to mute the main video track. And there you see we've got that circle that's been cut out. Now we're going to blur or pixelate the top track, but not the bottom one. So this circle is going to be pixelated, but the black areas are going to allow the other track to show through. And that's how we get the effect. Really is as simple as that. Uh, a circle's probably a good one for this 46 plate here, just on the back of the taxi. But it's too big, so we're going to have to start fiddling about with it a little bit. So in the event, in the video event effects, we're going to set up two bits. First, we're going to change the size of the circle. You can type it in if you know the size you want. Pretty unlikely. Or you can drag this little bar to get the right size. I'm going to make it reasonably large compared to the uh, plate, so that will do. But of course, that's now missing the plate, so we need to change where the circle is. To do that, we've got this centre section. Again, you can type in some coordinates, but if you click this little triangle to expand it, you get this box with a crosshair in. Click and hold on the crosshair, and you can actually move that crosshair about, and that also moves the circle about in the preview. So I'm going to centre it on that number 46. We now need to add a second effect. Uh, effect. So we've got our cookie cutter. We want to add another effect to the list. I can click the button here now for the plug-in chain. It's the same shape of button looks same shape of icon so we'll click on this one and this is going to add an effect after it's done the cookie cutter 
and the one we want this time is the pixelation effect. So we've got a couple of pixelation. We've got radial pixelate and Sony pixelate. Sony pixelate is the one that you're probably more used to. So I'll choose that one. So we'll add that. Click OK. OK, so that's added the pixelation effect. Now, you can't see anything here yet. That's because we haven't actually set the size of the pixels. So it's showing you um, kind of one to one. There's, there's no blurring happening. So we can adjust the horizontal and vertical pixelation. So just move those up a bit to get bigger pixels. And you can now see it's no longer possible to read that number 46. Now, if I switch back on the um, track that I've muted, you'll see it's now pixelated in that area. And if I drag the current position forwards and backwards, hopefully that circle is big enough to cover the 46 all of the time. So that gives us the 46 for that clip. I'll play it, and you can see it. That it's now working. It's Valentino Rossi's taxi. And now we don't know why it's Valentino Rossi's taxi. So that's the easy part. That's pixelating um, a video clip or an area of video clip that's not moving. OK, so we'll do the second video now. Now, you can't quite see the pixelation at this point. So what I'll do, I'll... Uh, cut the top video when it comes into view so about there so we'll chop a piece out of that there's no point in showing that and I'll start the pixelation from this point forwards so again it's the same thing first of all we're gonna click on the button to add the effects and I shall choose the cookie cutter and you can actually do this in one go so if I double click that you see it's added to the end same as clicking add and now I can add the pixelate as well so we'll add that one in too and click OK and that's added both effects at once again we can't really see what's going on yet so I'll mute the second video to make it easier and again we've got the circle well I'll change the shape this time this time let's go for a rectangle because number plates are better covered by rectangles um, and we'll change the size make it a little bit smaller to make my life not too difficult, I'll make it quite large so that it's easy to cover the number plate. And again, we need to set the center. So we'll move this to a point where we can see the number plate or where the number plate is going to be. And now if I click on pixelate up here to choose that effect, I can set the amount of pixelation here as well. And we get that pixelation effect. And again, if I unmute the other track, you can see that we've got some pixelation. The problem we've got is that that pixelated area is going to stay still whilst the van moves. Is this van going to pull out because he thinks it's a bus lane? Yes, of course he is. So you see the van has moved away from the pixelated area and that's not helping us anymore. So what we need to do is move that pixelation along with the van. And to do that we just need to move the cookie cutter area, the bit we've cut out. So we'll click back onto cookie cutter. And there's one thing you need to do here to get this right. At the minute, it's going to stay where it is no matter what you do. We could move this area around with the video, but you'd find that wherever you ended your video at, wherever you, your last position was, that would apply to the entire video. So we need to tell it to animate this property. And that's a bit like when we were doing the timeline things uh, with the crop and zoom and pan and what have you. Um, very, very similar, but you have to switch it on, whereas for the crop and zoom, you didn't need to switch it on, it's automatic. So to switch on the animation, you've got this little uh, icon on the right hand side, animate. So we'll click that for center. Quite often I'll do this for size as well, uh, when I want to really minimize the amount of pixelation, but then it will take me forever to create this video and for you to watch it. So I'm just going to stick with quite a large rectangle and move it around. If you did want to animate the size as well, you just click on the property there. Just click on animate for that one as well. We're just going to do the center. Switching that on produces a timeline and it gives you an idea of the positions of everything. Uh, it also hides the bit that we need. So I'm going to scroll down so we can see that center again. And then it's again, just like the crop and zoom we did before, you need to move on a little bit through your clip. And you see we're still pixelated at this point and we're going to move on until the number plate's quite near the edge and then we're going to add a keyframe 
and to add a keyframe you can either click the button to add a keyframe which will just add one that matches the original position of the pixelation or you can change the property that's being animated so we can just drag the little uh, center point again so that it's more covering the number plate sometimes it's useful to hide the video in the background for this as well just to make your life easier sometimes it's not it depends on the video that you're playing with now just to show you though with that hidden because we've put keyframes in the first keyframe has that rectangle right up at the left hand side of the frame the second keyframe here has it moved in and if we move along you'll see that it's animated automatically so it's moving smoothly between those two places it means you don't have to change every frame individually so we'll move on a few more frames and it's nice just to keep it moving a little bit so that you don't end up with big jumps I think for this case I'm gonna switch the main bit of the video back on as well so I can see what's happening move on a little bit more and the fans staying fairly stationary so it within shot that is obviously it's moving down the road so we can just move the center position the crosshair a little bit uh, over quite a large number of frames if we get some fast movement which you will in a second then it's a much better idea to put keyframes closer together sometimes you have to do them frame by frame you see the movement now of the van in frame is quite quick because I'm moving my head so I've got fewer frames between each keyframe you can see this by the fact that these things are close together these little dots if you notice as well you can actually see the X and Y coordinates it does show you a little graph not hugely useful for um, this particular effect but for some effects that you can animate that's really useful we'll see some of them in different videos so we carry on moving this time I think I'll leave that rectangle there so I'll just add a keyframe without changing the position so add a keyframe because my head is about to start moving back the other way and now I'm moving the rectangle in the other direction so I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do this uh, at real time for the whole thing so it's going to take me quite a few minutes to do this and then I'll show you the result at the end Okay, so that's all of the pixelation now complete. I'm just going to trim off the end of that bit of the video. And let's have a look at how that turns out. Now when you play it back, you might find that because of the animation, occasionally you'll have a bit that's not quite in the right place and you can see a bit of number plate or speed or whatever it is that you're trying to hide. In those cases, all you need to do is move the thing again and it will reset a new keyframe and reorganize the uh, animation around it. So let's watch that one back. Is this van going to pull out because he thinks it's a bus lane? Yes, of course he is. You see now the pixelation is following the van around. Oh, just read the signs. So it's as simple as that. Hope that, hope that one helps you. Thank you for watching everyone. Ride safe. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Valentino Rossi's taxi Is this van going to pull out because he thinks it's a bus lane? Yes, of course he is Oh, just read the signs